All right, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Noelle, are you good to get started? Yep. All right, all right, Pauline. Um, hi, Pauline, we're going to go ahead and get started, get rolling today. Um, my name is Chad Steinkamp. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions here at Wichita State, um, and I work directly with transfer students, adult learners, um, and military students. So thank you for taking time to come in and hang out with us today. Uh, with me today is also Noelle Wilson. She is with our Office of Online Learning. She's going to do some of the behind the scenes stuff, answer some, any questions that you have in the chat room. Um, and then she's also going to go over, I, I believe, some sort of survey here at the end of the presentation today. So um, Pauline, just keep in mind that this presentation really is about you. We could kind of, since you're it in here, we'll go ahead and tailor it to your needs and your and what you need and what questions you have. Um, so definitely feel free to jump on, ask any questions. Um, go ahead and put them in the chat room if you want to as well, and just let us know what we can do for you. Um, so Pauline, before we get started, before I get started my my presentation, just a quick question for you. Um, have you been admitted to Wichita State? I mean, because this might tailor a little bit my presentation. I mean, you can put it in the chat room or you can give me a thumbs up if you've been admitted. Yeah, right. she has. She has. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. So well, this, this presentation will be a little bit shorter um, since you've already been admitted, which is great because part of the, this presentation is how to get admitted to WSU. Um, but definitely if there is specific information that you're looking for today, Pauline, feel free to throw it in the chat room and we'll make sure between Noel and I that we get that covered for you, okay? Uh, but just kind of go to get started here uh, with the actual presentation. Um, just gonna give you some information about Wichita State. If you don't know, Pauline, uh, we are really big with what we call applied learning. So basically what that is, is we definitely want you to learn outside of the classroom a little bit as well. So applied learning is gonna be like internships, co-op opportunities, just opportunities for you as a student to get outside of the classroom, but also get that experience that you need to either further your career, start a new career, um, but really get dialed in with the community and also different organizations um, and places that can kind of teach you a little bit more about the process and about what you want to do. So with applied learning, as you can tell on the left hand side, we do have a lot of stats, a lot of numbers there for our students and how our students have benefited from applied learning and from the internships and co-ops that we can help set them up with. Um, but also in the middle there, there's lots of bulleted points there as far as um, you get, you know, a packed resume, um, college credits, professional connections, um, a paycheck, and in some cases, even a job offer. So what's good about these internships, Pauline, is, you know, back in my day, uh, when I did internships, it's pretty much all volunteer time. So you didn't, didn't really get a paycheck. You definitely got the experience. You definitely got the professional connections, but um, sometimes got college credit, but really didn't get paid. Uh, pretty much anymore, a lot of our internships and co-ops are paid positions. Um, and in some cases, too, if you you know, go to these internships and you work well with these folks and you make great connections with them. Some might even offer you a job before you get your degree. So that way they'll say, hey, you know what? You finished your degree, you got a job here um, and we would love to have you. So there's definitely a lot of good opportunities for you with this applied learning process. Um, as you can tell with all the pictures kind of around the screen that we definitely have students that have kind of spread their wings and gone to different places. So with the applied learning and the internships, those are something that you can do in state. Those are something that you can do, you know, nationally. So different places that you can go and check out, <clears throat> excuse me. We have here on campus, what we call our Shocker Career Accelerator. Basically what that is, that's what used to be our career development office. They will help you with this internship process. So basically as a transfer student, once you come in here to Wichita State, um, you can get signed up with them depending on what your major is, they can set you up with an advisor, <clears throat> excuse me, they can set you up with an advisor over there. Um, and that advisor can help you with those internships, get those set up for you, set up interviews, but they can also do a lot of other things in that office as far as interview prep, look over your resume for you, um, and just kind of help gain those professional um parts that you need as a student to kind of get that career and that job that you're looking for. So that's what we're really big with as far as WSU goes. Um, we also wanted to talk to you just real quickly about the Innovation Campus. Um, I don't know, Pauline, if you've been on campus at all lately, but we really have a lot of good stuff going on, on campus. We have a lot of construction, a lot of building, um, just really a lot of good things just kind of moving forward. So I've been at Wichita State for Gosh, a little over eight years, and it's really been under construction since I've been here, and I don't see really any end to it anytime soon, just with all the expansion and everything going on. Um, the Innovation Campus used to be a golf course, but now it's just booming into different buildings and opportunities for our students and staff. 
Um, so these pictures here are, are pretty much some abound around the innovation campus. So in the upper right hand corner, we have the John Bardo Center, which deals a lot with uh, engineering. So a lot of engineering labs and classrooms, things like that. We have Airbus. So a good example of partnering with folks within our community is Airbus. Um, Airbus is kind of, they've, they've been the leader for, for this from the get-go. So they used to have their office and their building in downtown Wichita. And then once we started building an innovation campus, they kind of picked up shop, moved into a building on our campus. Um, what's nice about that, Pauline, is that they have full access to our students. So any students that are either, you know, like business, engineering, anything related to that, they can just walk over across campus to Airbus, serve their internship. So which is good for our students to learn from the professionals there, but in turn, it's also good for their professionals to learn from our students. Our students, they bring in a lot of um, motivation and um, great ideas and things that, fresh ideas that are coming from these students um, into Airbus. So that's just a really prime example. Um, Law Enforcement Training Center. Now they have, um, they're a collaboration of Wichita State Police Department, the Wichita City Police Department, and then also the Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office. So they are working to train their cadets in this law enforcement training center on our campus. Um, but they also teach a lot of our criminal justice programs in there as well. Um, and then Braybird Square is just kind of a little shopping area. Right now we have the Shocker Store, a couple different restaurants. Uh, we are looking to add some more restaurants. Um, we have even a tap room that's coming on campus into Braeburn Square. We also have the Flats and the Suites, which is our residence halls, our brand new residence halls on the Innovation Campus, and then also the brand new YMCA. So the benefit and the cool thing about the YMCA, Pauline, is that as a student, you get free membership to the YMCA, not only the one here on campus, but you also get the free membership to the area YMCAs as well. So you have like free membership to like nine to 10 YMCAs to take advantage of as a student. So nice little perk there. And then definitely my favorite part of the Innovation Campus is in that lower right hand corner is the food truck plaza. Uh, we have food trucks that come in um, once a week, hopefully post pandemic, once things settle down a little bit, we'll get more food trucks there and, and we'll have kind of get it back to normal where you see all the crowds and stuff. Uh, but we do have the food trucks, which makes it nice for our students and staff on campus just to kind of try something new, something different. And of all the food trucks there, Pauline, I've never had a bad one. So definitely, you know, if you're on campus, you see the food trucks there, feel free to jump on in and, and give it a try. Um, I do need to update this. We say on here that soon to come is the Hyatt Place Hotel. Actually, that has just been finished. Um, it's a really beautiful hotel for students that are coming to visit on campus um, or folks that are just coming to the Wichita area to hang out. Um, and then we have a brand new business building that is the ground has broken and is currently being built. And then we have a student community center coming. So just a lot of good things happening on the innovation campus. All right, Pauline, how you doing? Hope you're doing all right. She's doing great. She's all right. Neat. <laughs> all right, Pauline. So another thing I want to just cover real quick, Pauline, is really definitely getting dialed in on campus. So the biggest part of course in college is definitely going to class, but we also want you to get involved with some things if you can. If you have time, I know um, as a transfer student or adult student, it, it sometimes it's, it's hard to really get involved outside of class just because you have so much other things going on with life. But if you do get a chance and opportunity, just let you know that we have a lot of opportunities for our students to definitely get involved on campus. We have over 300 plus student organizations, tons of on-campus events. We have Greek life, sororities, fraternities, um, intramural sports, um, shocker athletics. So if you're into athletics, you do get free tickets to those as a student. So basketball, volleyball, softball, baseball, all those are covered as a student. You also get free tickets to all of our fine arts events. So if there's a concert, a musical, um, anything like that, that in involves fine arts, you do get free tickets for that as well. So definitely want to take advantage of that. Um, I talked about the food trucks already. Um, the biggest thing on here I definitely want to cover is the hump day camel rides. Um, not often do you get to go on a college campus and on a Wednesday, jump on the back of a camel and ride across campus. Um, so we had that a few times before the pandemic hit. So hopefully that is something that we can bring the camels back to campus um, say someday on a Wednesday and you can ride a, a camel across campus, Pauline. So, uh, but lots of opportunities for our students. So definitely keep that in mind. If you do have time and you want to get involved, there's definitely opportunities for you to do so. Um, some other thing too, is that we have, 
study abroad and national student exchange. So these are definitely options for our transfer students. Uh, right now they're, they're on hold with the pandemic. So hopefully we can get those kick in and rolling again. Um, study abroad is basically just studying overseas for a semester for a year. Um, you can complete an internship over there. You definitely build a lot of experience by doing study abroad. I mean, it's a great resume builder. Um, I know a ton of students that have done study abroad and not one has regretted what they've done and love their time overseas. So they've been outside that comfort zone, getting a feel for a new atmosphere, a new environment, and just new culture. And just they just soak it in. So it's a really cool opportunity for you as a student. If you don't want to do the overseas thing, we do have the National Student Exchange. Uh, the National Student Exchange is very similar study abroad, but it's a little closer to home. Uh, we want to keep you within the, the continental U.S. Um, and hang out with us for a little while. You can do a semester for a year with the National Student Exchange. You can go to a partnership university in another state. Um, you pay the same tuition as you would at Wichita State. Your scholarships go with you. Any credit hours you take at those colleges also comes back with you as well. So they definitely count towards your degree. So not only are you looking within the continental US, but there's also opportunities for you to go to Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and do the national student exchange with them as well. Uh, but these are just really two amazing opportunities for our students, regardless if you're a first time freshman or if you're a transfer student, for you to kind of just do something a little different, experience like a different university, um, just to get out and to kind of get that feel of what it's like in another state or another country. Um, and definitely the perks for this, you know, you're paying Wichita State tuition at some of these places that have high tuition costs. So it's really kind of a nice experience and, and saves you a little bit of money with, as well. All right. Okay, so one thing I want to point out to you, Pauline, I know you've already been admitted, you've done the admissions process, which has been great. Um, we have, I don't know if you've ever been on the transfer gateway, but if you ever have a chance and you want to get on the transfer gateway, please feel free to do so. Basically what that is, is that's an opportunity for you to put in all your credit hours that you've taken at WSU Tech and any other college you may have attended. And those will, sh and it will show you how those transfer specifically into our majors. So if you've decided for sure what you want to do for a major, great. If you kind of narrow it down and you have a couple, two or three majors that you want to check on, you can really do it on this transfer gateway. So it's an opportunity, like I said, um, for example, here on this screenshot, we do have a student here from Hutch that is put their three credit, three classes in. It shows how those classes on the right hand side do um, transfer into his, their computer engineering major. So and on the right hand side, like I said before, you can pick up the three different majors put in all your classes, and then you can see how those classes transfer into those majors and how close you are to finishing that degree with us. Um, the cool thing about this tool is that can help you decide on what you wanna do. Um, I've worked with a student in the past that actually, you know what, she sent me an email, I was like, you know, I really don't know what I wanna do. I have these three majors in mind, like, oh, let's go to the Transfer Gateway. So we went to the Transfer Gateway, it took us about five to 10 minutes to put in all our classes. It pulled up the three different majors on the side. Uh, one major really got her done earlier with her degree um, than the other two. So she's like, all right, that's the one I'm going with. So I definitely want to go in and I want to get that major because it looks like it's going to get me done a little bit faster um, and get me working a little bit quicker. So it does have its benefits. Um, also has a couple of cool other little perks, you know, it has like a checklist to kind of check and see where you're at in the process. It also talks about like if you click on the computer engineering major, it will tell you what the median salary range is for that specific major, what the demand is for that major. Um, one other thing I would tell you, Pauline, if you do decide to use this, I would go ahead and create a profile. So in the upper right hand corner where it says create a profile, because that way it saves all your work. So if you put in all your classes and you come back later and you decide, you know, and I want to get back in here, you can just sign in. All your work is still there. So. If you don't create a profile, of course, all that stuff will be gone um, and you have to do it all over again. But just kind of a little idea for you, a little shortcut. <clears throat> and thanks, Noel, to went ahead and put the link into the chat room. Um, the link is also in the bottom left hand corner of this page. So feel free to get on there, kind of play around with it. It is really a cool tool. Um, and then definitely let us know if you do have any questions on this at all. <clears throat> all right, so really, Pauline, we can skip this slide. You are good to go since you've already been admitted to Wichita State. So really your next step, okay, if you have not already, is to holler at Jenna. So Jenna Randall, she's going to be your academic advisor. 
So whenever you're ready, if you haven't done so, reach out to Jenna and she'll help you start looking at your classes uh, for either this summer or this next fall. So, um, and then also, <clears throat> oh, perfect. Pauline, you're way ahead of things. That's great. Hey, have you signed up for orientation yet, Pauline? Um, if you haven't done that, then that might be your next step as well. Okay, <laughs> she's on it. Perfect. Way to go, Pauline. All right. Um, Pauline, just real quick, um, I have some slides here about financial aid. Did you have questions about financial aid and how that worked um, and kind of what the process is for that? Uh, we can go over that if you want to or if you had questions about financial aid. Um, otherwise, we can just kind of skip to the question and answer time. <clears throat> nope. Okay. Okay. Wow, Pauline, this is great. You are doing some great things. So Ready. I mean, applied, been admitted, you already enrolled. It looks like you're good to go for your financial aid. Um, so I'm just going to skip through this stuff here just real quick um, and just kind of get to the last screen. So Pauline, really, here is, I don't, I don't know what you do for social media, um, but we're really big with our social media here in the admissions office at WSU. And here is all kind of our social media outlets. Um, please feel free to jump in and like us and follow us. Uh, we really keep things up to date and make announcements on our social media. So definitely jump in. We would love to have you follow us. And then also in the very, very bottom there, I kind of snuck in my email address. So if there's anything that you need, Pauline, definitely know. Send me, send me an email real quick. I'd love to help you out. And if there's anything we can do, you know, between Noel and I, I know we'll be happy to, to help you with this process. Um, Oh, that's good. Yeah, get on that Facebook. Yeah, we try to keep that Facebook up to date as much as possible. We'll post as many, many pictures as we can. Um, so, Pauline, I guess I want to, I'm going to turn this over to you now. Do, is there any questions that you have um, about this process or anything that you can think of? Okay, perfect. Yeah, so I'm, I think Noel does have a, an announcement about a survey, so I'm going to turn it over to Noel. Okay, let me just pop in the survey real quick and explain it if um, you haven't heard about it yet. So this in a session survey will let us count um, the student attendance. So if you fill out the survey, it's letting us know that you basically attended this session. Um, and in addition to attending up to three sessions of Shocker Pathways, you get a you can be entered to win a five hundred dollar scholarship that can be used for fall twenty twenty one or spring twenty twenty two. And that's basically it. That's all you really need to know about the link that I just sent on this chat is fill it in so that we can count you. Um, and then this automatically allows you to also win Shocker gear. Um, from the Office of Adult Learning, which is awesome because they have so many goodies. Like I love all the stuff that comes from Pam and Jenna. So um, don't miss out on that and definitely fill out that link. All right, thanks Noel. Um, so Pauline, really, if you don't have any questions or if there's anything else that either one of us can do, you are, are free to go and enjoy the rest of your day. Um, Noel, thank you for helping out here today. and. Uh, being a part of this. Um, but yeah, really, if that's all, I think that's all we have. Yeah. Good start to the morning. Yes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and, and end this because it looks like we are good to go. And, and again, Noel, thank you. And Pauline, thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck this semester and can't wait to see you in the summer. Bye, guys. Bye.